All right, so went to the PSA store today. I had to make a trip to uh, Savannah, so of course I had to stop by. I got to get my hands on an SP01 and a Shadow 2 Compact and kind of feel out the triggers, kind of feel the action, and I was really impressed by both. Um, I was probably more impressed by the SP01, not because I think it's better than the Shadow 2 Compact, but just because considering it's kind of like not a base model, but maybe like an entry level, or I guess a base model, you know what I'm saying. It's not like the tuned up Shadow version or a Shadow 2, uh, whatever, you know, it's not like their performance model. It was really impressive. Like the trigger was great. Um, the Shadow 2 Compact was about what I expected. It's amazing I, and I love it, but um, I, I was just more impressed by how nice the SP01 was. So, not in the market for an SP01, given my trip over there to uh, PSA kind of made me want one. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna clear this out real quick. But, um,. But yeah, I'm still in the market for a P01. I want something a little more compact. But yeah, I was I was really impressed. Um, it was super nice, super tight lockup, super smooth slide. Uh, the handle, the weight felt great. The handle, the grip, <laughs> the handle of the gun, the grip of the gun felt great. The angles and everything, and uh, honestly, the trigger on it is way better. I say way better than my P09. It felt better. Um, I, I didn't try them side by side, so it's hard to tell. But um, just by my butt dyno, I think it's better. But uh, another thing I picked up while I was in Savannah was this plus two, this black plus two extension for my Glock 17 mag. And this might have come from this. This did definitely come from an unexpected source. Uh, I got I, I got it at PSA, but I didn't buy this at PSA. I actually bought a plus two extended Glock 26 mag and I robbed this off of it. <laughs> and so I definitely overpaid cause I think you can get these for like five bucks online, but it was there in the store and it was like 20 bucks for the 26 mag. Um, I know some people at work that run 26 mags. I'll just give them the mag. I really just wanted this. My plus two worn base plate is on my, on the 26 mag right now. Um, I'll probably end up swapping that and keeping that plus two, that worn plus two extension just because it's, it was like kind of like expensive. It was like 40 bucks. Ridiculous. So I'm still coming out on top <laughs> or I'm still kind of out coming out cheaper than the worn extension with just this right here. And, uh, damn, ignore my <sighs> dusty ass table. <sighs> but, uh, I mean, whatever it's, uh, I use this as a workbench, even though it's a uh, living room furniture. <laughs> But anyway, uh, I like it. This looks really good to me. I love these uh, kind of dueling FTE and all black mags. Um, and uh, just to move on, I got one more cool thing. While I was in Savannah, I went to Bass Pro and I got this Alien Gear mag holder. Um, I don't have one. I just got it to test. And I honestly considered, because it comes with an attachment piece for Alien Gear's um, proprietary holsters that attaches it to that. Actually, I'm going to go run and get that real quick. So on the alien gears, this would attach like that, I think. And so you can ride up or down like that. And then this attaches to your inside the waistband or outside the waistband holster. And what I was thinking was I've got holes here already drilled. I wonder if I could pop this sandwich it, you know, in there. So it'd sit somewhere in there like that. And then make let this ride out here have to go pretty high or i could go well no i need it high because i need it to actually stick out of my pants but what i was thinking is i could either keep this clip on and just take this clip off altogether, or i could drill holes and you know i could make this work i think because like you're supposed to hook it to this side but i could easily hook it to that side and then drill holes in the bottom of this because those are low profile screws. I don't think they'd get in the way. And if they did, um, you know, I could probably move it to like the side or something. I don't know. I'm just thinking about trying to hook this up with my tier one MSP holster because it'd sit about like that. I don't know. I don't know if it'd work and, you know, move this clip here or potentially, potentially just keep that clip, you know, it looks something like that. But, uh, just figured I'd get it to try out, or of course I can just rock this, 
anywhere in my belt line, which I did tonight on my walk with my dog and got a feel for the first time of like an extra mag caddy or a sidecar setup without it being an actual sidecar setup and I really liked it. it. It didn't get in the way as much as I thought it would. So I maybe end up getting a, uh, a new holster. I definitely want the MSP for the X300, but um, I really also want the capability to run a mag on the side if I want to. So maybe, maybe I'll rig something up. That's pretty much it for my trip to Savannah. I just thought it was cool. I mean, it was kind of stupid. Honestly, it's not very cool to waste money at all. It's just me being impatient and an impulse buyer. But I really wanted this look. I really wanted the look of the factory. Bump the camera there. Extension for the Glock in my Glock 17. And now I've got it. So I think it looks really good. I think it looks better than the Warren. It just fits the shape of the Glock better. It mimics that grip angle right here and that flare out and then it's got the flare out and it's just it looks good i think it looks better probably prints a little less because i think that worn came out almost the same length but it was still so it's short i don't know it's negligible honestly but like i said i think it looks cool and uh i've got two matching 17 max and fde in black so pretty excited <laughs> pretty excited so i don't know uh you know, my my, uh, my spirits are up on, on getting a P01. I'm really motivated to just wait and, and find that deal because I really don't want to pay MSRP for one, and they're they're kind of just hard to find right now. So, But the, uh, the, but the SP01 gave me hope. That thing just felt so damn good in the hand. Like, CZs really are so ergonomical, ergonomic. Um, and, yeah, I think they're great guns. I'm, like I said, I'm really excited to get it. But uh, I can't remember if there's anything else that I could... Uh... Oh, shit. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I got one more thing at PSA while I was there. I got a cup. <laughs> it's uh, It looks like glass, right? It looks like, like frosted glass, but it's actually actually actually, actually rubber. Um, I got this in the checkout line, and like I said, that Glock 26 mag was only like 20-something bucks. And when I checked out, these probably aren't worth it. I checked out, it was like $40 total. And... So I don't know how much this is. <laughs> the guy had to look it up on the sheet. Maybe he typed it in wrong. I didn't really question it just because I was in a hurry to get out of there. I needed to uh, I needed to be somewhere. So yeah, I I don't know. I don't know if this is worth it, but I thought it was kind of cool. They just had a cooler full of them with different colors. But yeah, I think it's the first Palmetto branded merch that I've actually paid for. So uh, everything else is free stickers and shit. But yeah, so that was it. That was the last thing I got today other than Christmas presents for my girlfriend and some leftover food. So, but yeah, that was just a short one just to kind of show off my new, my new toys. Um, putting this mag extension on was a bitch. Uh, they're really a pain in the ass to get off because they don't have the button isn't flush. It's actually, I don't know how to describe it, but, uh, if it falls out, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> I won't hide it, but, uh, cause I honestly was not super, I don't know, dude. It was hard to get on, and I did it in the car. I was impatient. I didn't want to wait. I uh, kind of marred that up a little bit. Not too bad, but if it blows out the bottom, I will inform you. Let you guys know. So, All right, before I keep rambling on, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one.